what's up everyone this is nick at stridewise.com and today i'm hosting the ultimate boot showdown and comparing the red wing iron ranger with the wolverine 1000 mile So which is the better boot, the Iron Ranger or the 1000 mile? It really is maybe the most common question asked about boots and I'm not even really exaggerating. If you go to Google and type in Red Wing or Wolverine, the, one of the first suggestions that comes up is versus the other brand. It's a super common question because they're both really beautiful boots. They're both icons of American footwear. They're both pretty similar looking. They're both pretty similar price. They've even both got a 270 degree Goodyear welt. They've got a ton in common but there are also quite a lot of differences. And I'm gonna get into that in a little while. But the thing is, most people, when they're trying to decide between these boots, they'll either Google the product details, or maybe they'll buy both, take a good look, and then return one of them. I, on the other hand, have owned both of these boots for a really long time. I've really walked a lot of miles in these, not quite a thousand miles, but I have put them through the ringer. I've done a lot of stuff in these boots. And in my opinion, I think that's a pretty clear winner. So when you're just taking a cursory glance at these two boots, the obvious difference here is that the Iron Ranger has the toe cap, that is far and away the biggest difference. Red Wing also has the Beckman, which looks a lot more like the 1000 mile, but it's just not quite as popular as the Iron Ranger. It's a really beloved shoe. The toe cap definitely makes it seem a bit less formal, whereas the Wolverine 1000 mile, it could sort of pass in more dressy situations. Sometimes it kind of depends on where you live, but it's definitely a dressier shoe, so that might give it a point in that category. Besides the slightly bulbous toe cap, there are a few more subtle differences Differences. The leather is different. This one's oil tanned. This one is chrome XL. There's also the stitching is a little bit different as well. The Iron Ranger is pretty much triple stitched everywhere on the side, on the back. There's quadruple stitched along the toe cap. Whereas the Wolverine 1000 mile, that is triple stitched here on the side, but everywhere else is single stitched or double stitched. So it's sort of, it's a, it screams durability a little bit less than the Iron Ranger does. It's something you might want to keep in mind. There's also, they both have the 270 degree Goodyear welt, which makes for a boot that's pretty water resistant and pretty easy to resole. But the soles are also pretty different. This 1000 mile, I apologize for how ugly this sole is after I've been wearing it for so long, but this one is a leather sole, whereas this here is a cork sole. So there are quite a few differences between the shoes, but when you're just talking about cursory glances, when you're just talking about aesthetics, which boot wins really is a matter of preference. Personally, I like a boot that is more assertive in the category in which it falls. And by that, I mean the Iron Ranger is a more casual boot and it knows it. The 1000 mile is sort of trying to straddle the line between dressy and informal. And in my opinion, it makes for a boot that has like a little bit of an identity crisis. It's not perfect in either category, but it is more versatile. So it's up to you depending on what kind of boot you want. So when you're comparing the leather between these two different boots, they're both full grain leather, meaning the leather comes from the top layer of the animal's hide, which means it's very durable, it's gonna age really well, it's gonna develop a nice patina as the years pass by, and it's gonna mold the shape of your foot as you wear it in. So they both get points of being full grain leather. The Wolverine 1000 mile definitely has more of a pedigree behind its leather. This is Chrome XL. So Chrome XL comes from Halloween Leather Company in Chicago, and it's like a combination tanned leather, and it's really beloved by a lot of people. It's in a lot of really high-end boots, as well as the 1000 mile, which is like a little bit lower on the price scale when compared to something like an Alden or a Viberg, which also use Chrome XL leather. It's got really, it's, it's got a lot of like depth of color. It's got a lot of uh, moistness. There's a ton of different like waxes and oils in there. There's beef tallow, there's beeswax, and it's finished with neat's foot oil. There's just a ton going on here. So it's a very moist looking leather and as you can see it really it's a bit shinier It's a bit fancier looking than the leather on the Red Wing Iron Ranger Red Wing's leather This is just an oil tanned leather and while Red Wing does have their own tannery They don't ever actually technically say that this leather is made there So it's a bit of a mystery as to where this leather comes from But as someone who has worn in both of these boots, I gotta say the Red Wing is a lot harder to wear in. It was really just kind of agony for that first week. The leather's thicker, and it really just, just seemed a bit more durable as well. Whereas the Wolverine, it was really easy to wear in. And even though, you know, Red Wing's leather is a bit less famous than Chrome XL, as you can see, the Wolverine really did crease a lot more than the Red Wing. I've had this for over a year. I've had the Wolverines for, you know, I've had these for less than a year, but the crease has happened really quickly, like within the first few weeks of wearing them. So that was a bit of a bummer. There's also more loose grain on this shoe as well. So I think the leather selection is a little bit less rigorous than the one at Red Wing. At least that's in my personal opinion. So there are a lot of differences with the sole as well on these shoes. 
The Wolverine 1000 Mile has a stacked leather sole with some Vibram on the heel for extra grip, whereas my pair of Iron Rangers have this nitrite cork sole. But it's really important to remember that as of summer 2018, Red Wing changed the soles of all of their Iron Rangers so that now they're only sold with a Vibram Mini Lug sole. So that's definitely going to give it better grip than the stacked leather sole here. But even before that, when I had these cork soles here, I still found the cork had slightly better grip than the leather sole on the Wolverine 1000 mile. Neither are amazing, like neither have like commando soles or anything like that, but definitely in my experience, the Red Wing did have better grip, it had better traction, and even though it is definitely a heavier boot, it has a steel shank in the middle for stability and arch support, whereas the 1000 mile doesn't. And finally, the heel of the boots on my 1000 miles has started to come off, even though it is significantly younger than my Iron Ranger, and their heels are in really good shape. So I gotta say, as far as the soles go, I think the Iron Ranger is the winner. So when it comes to the fit, these boots really do have a ton in common in that respect. First of all, they're the same size, so I'm an 11D in both of these shoes. You're going to want to order about a half size down from what you normally wear in sneakers, which is like pretty common in most boots. When it comes to the comfort, I mean, neither of these shoes are trying to win awards in comfort. They're both very kind of workhorsey, very durable sorts of boots. Neither really has much lining to speak of. They both have very thick leather. But I gotta say, in my experience, I think the 1000 mile does win when it comes to comfort. They both have a ton in common. Like for instance, they both have a cork midsole and a leather insole that will like slowly mold the shape of your foot over time. And the Iron Ranger also has that steel shank, which means it has a tiny bit better arch support as well as slightly better stability. But in my experience, the 1000 mile won for comfort and that is purely because it has this Vibram lug on the heel here. So the shock absorption is a little bit better. Just felt a little bit better walking around town, whereas the Iron Ranger was a little bit closer to walking around on wood. Now, so in my experience, the 1000 mile won, but there's a really big caveat here, which is that the Red Wing now has a Vibram sole, a complete Vibram sole. So it may be a lot better at shock, shock absorption now than the version I bought. So I gotta say, I have to plead ignorance on what the Red Wings are like today in that regard. Now, obviously the price is a really big factor when comparing two boots that are similar as these. The Red Wing Iron Ranger is $320. That's what it costs on Amazon and it's what it costs on Red Wing's official website. The Wolverine 1000 mile, it costs $360. That's what it costs on Wolverine's official website. On Amazon, sometimes you can find them cheaper. I've seen them at $345. You may even be able to find it cheaper than that. The price kind of fluctuates a lot there. Nonetheless, I've never seen them get as cheap as the Red Wing. So Red Wing is a clear winner here. Okay, so which boot is the winner? Which is the better boot? Now, I'd have to say, first of all, that this is a completely subjective thing, and this is just my opinion. I'm not saying mine is the correct opinion, but unlike a lot of guys out there, I've actually worn both of these boots for a really long time, and in my opinion, I think the Iron Ranger is the better boot. Now, I've got a few reasons for that. It does feel more stable. It's got that steel shank in there. The arch support is slightly better. It's true that the shock absorption was a bit better in the 1000 mile, but the difference in comfort really wasn't that big. Like if I had a gun to my head, I have to say 1000 mile, but the Iron Ranger, it still, it feels perfectly fine walking around in. The cork midsole still molded to my foot as of the leather insole. And it's got a bunch of other things going for it as well. It's got, it's better stitched. It has like more triple stitching along here. Again, it's got that steel shank. There's more grip on the undersole as well. And really importantly, it just aged a lot better. I mean, look, just look at the difference between these two boots. The leather here isn't as famous as Chrome XL, which is what was used in the Wolverine 1000 mile. But as you can see, it aged really, really well. Whereas the 1000 mile just creased like crazy really quickly after buying it as well, just like within a few weeks. And there are other ways in which it didn't age very well either. I got some loose threads coming out uh, near, the, near the eyelets here. Also, the heel is starting to come off. And the Iron Ranger, even though it's older, it still is ready to go. It hasn't had anywhere near as much damage as the 1000 mile. So my opinion, I think the Iron Ranger is better, but I want to hear your opinion. Let me know in the comments which you think is the best boot. I'm dying to hear what you think and make sure you subscribe. I got a lot more comparisons coming up.